So I just read Justice League issue 75 aka the death of the Justice League and I've been looking forward to this issue for so long and it honestly did not disappoint so let's dive right into it. First of all, as it's already been teased, this is the start of the Dark Crisis. This is the prelude to the Dark Crisis where um, the DC multiverse is now under attack from something called the Great Darkness, the embodiment of all darkness and evil. And the, the Great Darkness has assembled an army of DC's deadliest villains together and they have just taken out the Justice League. Well, more specifically, Pariah took out the Justice League. Man, Pariah's powers have seemed- I feel like Pariah's powers have reached a whole new level of the Great Darkness flowing through him. You know, it, I, I, I don't remember him being that powerful in the original stories. Not at all. Okay, I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping for a more dramatic death sequence where each member of the Justice League falls in battle one by one and until, you know, there's only one of them left and that person retreats to warn all the other heroes. But honestly, I can't be too mad at about the way they did it here because the way they were just wiped out just like that it shows that the Great Darkness is not messing around. It is here to destroy and conquer completely. Anyway, here are some of my thoughts um, while I was reading the comic. First of all, I love these shots of Multiverse 2 we're getting. Multiverse 2 was the original Multiverse apparently that was destroyed during the Crisis on Infinite Earths. And yeah, the way it looks so desolate, it looks like a wasteland of, mul of uh, universes. Just like um, a whole uh, collection of destroyed universes and Earths. It's just like so haunting to see and I love it. Man, the Dark Army is no joke. DC's deadliest villains assemble into an anti-Justice League squad. Kind of like the Injustice League, but in this case, with the power of the Great Darkness surging through them, I would imagine that they're a lot stronger and, you know, hence a lot deadlier. So Darkseid was actually trying to warn them for a second because, you know, he's worried about the Great Darkness too and he broke free for a, for a second to try and, like, tell them how they can, like, you know, the only way to win against this new enemy. Wow, Pariah just wiped out the Trinity and they were all disintegrating in the same way that uh, Barry, uh, Barry Allen was disintegrating during the Crisis on Infinite Earths. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it was a reference to. Now, Black Adam might not be the sole survivor of this uh, massacre because we saw Black Canary there. She was um, with Green Arrow when he died, right? So can she even do something at this point if she's like still trapped? Is she still like trapped there? Wow, they really wiped out the Justice League. And not just the Justice League, but Justice League Incarnate. The, the main uh, hero team that was in the previous story leading to this, which was... Um, well, yeah, which, which was in their, um, which was in their mini-series. Their limited series, yeah. Where uh, they tried to stop Darkseid and Flashpoint Batman was Omega Beamed out of the story. So that's it then. The Justice League are gone for now, anyway. So that means that all the heroes uh, left on Earth are the ones who are going to have to stand up to the Great Darkness and win. I honestly cannot wait for the Dark Crisis to come out, the main series I mean. I am super excited and I cannot wait to read it. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything, if there's anything else you want me to um, check out or read in terms of comic books, yeah, uh, leave it in the comment box below and I'll see you guys next time.